All right, so anyway, here's the last project I wanted to talk about. Um, and this is the Lightning Network, which is really important. It's what's being used in El Salvador and elsewhere. The point of the Lightning Network is to overcome a serious deficiency in Bitcoin. Bitcoin only has one block every 10 minutes, and you have to wait for five blocks to be on top of a block before you can have high degree of security that it, the block is accurate and someone is not going to find a double spend attack against it. So you can't get money in less than an hour on the Bitcoin network. And there are high transaction fees. And the cure for both of these problems is the Lightning Network. So what it does is you open a channel and you put some Bitcoin in it, and then people who join that channel can trade it back and forth without those transactions being on the chain. And they keep cryptographic evidence, so when eventually when you run a trade in for something else, you trade it back to the chain, and then uh, it's all, um, that's when the channel is closed. Then you make a one on-chain transaction later. And so you can, transactions are effectively instant. And so this is the command line version of it. You create a, um, you download this Lightning Network stuff and get it working, and then you can create some uh, nodes. You create a, a node here, and a Lightning Network node, and then you create another Lightning Network node for another user. And so they're listening on different local ports. And then a third one. So now you have three people all running copies of this software listening on different ports, 10,001, 10,002, and 10,003. Then you can create a wallet and um, for all three people. And so the wallets have a secret key, like we talked about before, this uh, list, of num list of words is necessary to get in there. And now you set up addresses for all these wallets. So they're all going to have these long Bitcoin random letter addresses. And then you do some mining. So Alec gets some, he set up a simulated net, network and do some mining. So Alice has some Bitcoin. And then you can send them back and forth and see that Alice now has a balance. And you can mine Bitcoins for Charlie and check his balance. Then you can create the network and send it back and forth. So it is all pretty painful to do, and there's no graphics. It's all this command line stuff. But you do get to see the protocols that are used. And this is what people are attempting to use in El Salvador with apparently disastrous results. But anyway, that's the Lightning Network, which is supposed to make Bitcoin much better. What Someone, happened to El Salvador? Uh, well, what happened in El Salvador is apparently the machines are broken. The people do not understand how to use it. It doesn't work properly. And also, one huge problem is... They hired a um, completely incompetent programmer to do it and gave him no time to do it. They chose some guy who had, in fact, run several projects that were total disasters and ordered him to write the code. So the code, you have a, in El Salvador, you have an ID card. And people were supposed to join the network, and you would then get like $30 free, which is a lot of money there. But they didn't, they hired some idiot to write the code to validate the cards. And it didn't work, so they just turned it off. So anybody could get in their thirty dollars by pretending to be somebody else. So everybody took everybody else's money, and a lot of problems like that happened. So uh, there's a lot of, uh, and then of course the big problem is the price of Bitcoin fell drastically, so it became a lot less attractive. So um, almost nobody's actually using it in El Salvador, even though it's supposedly the national currency. Well, anyway, yeah. like, um, people inside the mining Inside the Lightning Channel, what? Well, well, the Lightning Channel has its own cryptography, so you can't spend money you don't have. You have to put Bitcoin in it, and then you can only spend that much. The money can only move from person to person. The only thing about it is it doesn't go to the blockchain, so it doesn't get slowed down. So but it keeps the record of all the yeah, yeah, you end up with this blob of data flying around. Um, yeah, you have these long cryptographic blobs, and uh, like this. And so they contain encrypt encrypted data, and they prove that it's all accurate when you can't get your Bitcoin back on the blockchain without submitting those things to prove that you did get it through official transactions. So it's, it's cryptographically secure, even though it's off-chain. So you send up, here's what a payment request looks like. And then this has to be approved by somebody else, and um, then you'll get a payment status succeeded and you get a hash. So there's cryptographic proof of all this and you'll submit that when you cash out your, you can cash out your lightning channel and put your money back on the blockchain and then you can use it for other purposes. But to do that, you have to prove, you have to submit these cryptographic things.
So that's all I know. I don't know the details, but I know it works. Um, but if it's all set up correctly, it works. But I'm not aware of anybody actually using it in any large scale anywhere yet. All right, let me stop this recording.